I created a script using ChatGPT and 3ds Max. Every time I want to modify a camera, I have to click here, then select camera and finally go to the modify panel. I repeat these clicks many times a day. How could I perform the same selection with just one click like this? I created a script using ChatGPT and 3ds Max. I must say that the code we write is very simple, but I don't know anything or almost anything about Max Script, and I'll use ChatGPT as an assistant. I used version 4 of ChatGPT, which is a paid version, but also more advanced. And as always, we start by giving it a context. From now on, act like an expert in Max Script language. The answer is obviously yes, I know Max Script for 3ds Max, and it asks me what I want to do. Instead of directly leading to the final goal, let's move step by step. To start, tell me which command is used to get the camera from the current viewport. And it gives me this command with some explanations. Now I copy this command and let's first see if it works correctly. I go to new script open the round bracket, add the command and close the round bracket. I don't know much about Max Script, but I had this very basic knowledge that a command must be contained between two brackets. However, as you can notice, the command line appears completely black. Think that normally a Max Script looks like this with the colors, so something is wrong. So I ask ChatGPT, can you review this command? Can you double check it? And indeed, it gives me another version. I copy it, paste it here, and now it's recognized. At least the syntax works. So I ask it again. Use this code to write a script to select the camera from the current viewport. And here's what it suggests. I copy the code add it between these two brackets and run the command evaluate all. Unfortunately, I see that nothing happens. Honestly, I don't know why it is not working. But I simply ask again, give me another version. And through trial and error, I try to get the code that works. We have another code. I copy it, paste it here and run it again. And finally, it selects the camera. Now that we have the first line, it's much easier adding more commands. For example, add a line to go to the Modify tab. And here we get an additional line that allows us to do this. We test it, copy the code, insert it here, and again, evaluate all. The camera is selected and the modify panel as well. Great! At this point, I need to create a macro script so that I can add it into a button. I ask to create a macro from this code and it creates the macro header in those three lines, followed by the script we just tested. With some indication explaining how to implement the macro in 3ds Max. But for now, we can ignore this part because I'll show you directly in 3ds Max. I copy the entire code, which as you can see is contained between the two brackets. The only change I make is here in categories. I write a simple script. Keep in mind because I will use it in a moment. With evaluate all, this code appears here, which means everything went well. So going to customer user interface, toolbar tab and we can find here exactly this category simple scripts we have our action here so I create a button and drag the action we just generated into this button 
And for a personal habit, I like to edit these buttons and give them some appearance, some icon of a camera in this case. Perfect. Now, instead of doing these three steps, from now on, I can get the current camera just by clicking here. And if I'm to a viewport that doesn't contain a camera, that small error message we saw in our script is produced here below. As I said from the beginning, this code is very simple and if you know a bit of Mac script, you could actually write it in a few seconds. And I must also say that probably a more complex script, I wouldn't be able to write it this way, at least for now. But what I wanted to show you is a process of how I managed to write these lines of Mac script code without knowing anything about this language to solve a personal need. Maybe you could try it too, to simplify some of your habits and thus making your daily work smoother. Would you like to know more about artificial intelligence? Follow me in these other videos and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel.